Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Survey World by Tessie Chupu Jepo. Today, I am making this very video on request. Okay, someone, one of my followers requested that I make a video on how to subdivide a land into plots. Now, as you know, the size of a plot depends on the location. In some places, the dimension of a plot is 50 by 100 feet, 50 feet by 100 feet, feet, and in some places it's 60 feet by 100 feet. In some places it is 60 feet by 120 feet. So I really don't know. Maybe I should separate this into separate or individual videos okay but for the first one which is 50 feet by 100 feet its equivalent in meters is 15.24 meters by 30.48 meters which will give you the area of the set plot to be 464.515 square meters okay so now this simply means that the dimensions in meters are 15.24 meters for the width and for the length 30.48 meters. So for this very tutorial, I just drew a rectangle as you can see. I'm using AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018. So I just drew a rectangle now and I want to subdivide this very rectangular land into plots or parcels okay so what i will do is i will just find out the area of this to know how much or how many or the number of plots i'm expected to subdivide this into so you highlight it and then click on list so here you see area you can see the area here so let me just copy it out and then paste so I've pasted let me scale it to increase the size so this is the area of this rectangular land now something else you need to have in mind when you're subdividing is make sure you have roads make sure you have access roads for the plots you are not just subdividing you subdivide and also design a road for the plots uh, you know just to grant them access especially for plots that are inside so they will have access routes to them okay so let's begin remember we're kicking off with 50 feet by 100 feet which is 15.24 meters by 30.48 meters okay so the 15.24 is the width the 30.48 is the length now we'll draw our first line turn on your snap object snap on then you click so you type in your first dimension for example the length which is 30.48 you press enter okay see so we've done that okay as you can see let me just give it a different color from that of the triangle a rectangle sorry so let's say we have it as green that is your length there now I want to I will use offset offset tool I will click on offset tool and then to get the width remember the width is 15.24 15.24 you click enter you enter the width as the offset distance you know that's what you're trying to get then it says 
select object to offset i want to offset this line this green line okay in order to get the width so i'll just click on it and then it says specify the point on side to offset i want to offset on the right on the left sorry so i'll just click there so this is my this is the first plot so let's see if the offset distance is correct so from here to here you can see it 15.24 okay so now you have one plot you have one plot so you can decide to close it close it you close it up so, so you have one plot now let's give this green color okay so let's select green color so everything we're doing will be in green so this is one plot now let's check the area remember i said the area for this 50 by 100 is 464.515 so let's confirm that so to confirm that you click on area 2 you can see it in case your area 2 is not showing you click on this downward arrow and you see the list so you go there this area you click on it and then come to your plot and click round to get your area okay now you press enter so this is the area four six four point five one five you can see it so you can paste the area inside the plot okay so this is it now i want to get another plot i'll go back to offset to remember i've gotten the length so as far as i'm going on this straight line on this right line all i need to be doing is to be entering the width because already i have the length now okay so remember the width is 15.24 you can see here in the in the window it says offset specify offset distance the offset distance we entered before is 15.24 and that's the width so and it's still the same thing we want to do so you just press enter you don't need to enter it again then in answer select object offset this is the object i want to offset i will click it and click to the left so it depends on you keep doing this till you get to the end so do that do that you keep doing it till you get to the end okay so i'm at the end now what i will now do is i'll click on line and close it up close and i'll do the same at the top i will also close so now you see i have how many plots now one two three four five six seven plus this eight plus already you see it so now and uh, all the same area they are the same area so you just copy the area and paste okay so that's it for this line then i'll come down to do the same now coming down here i will still use offset distance now if you're coming down your offset distance should not be that of the width again now it should be length because going down now is length is length wise so once you click on offset tool you type in your length the length if you can remember is 30.48 so just type in 30.48 and press enter now this is the object we want to offset so you click on it and then you click down click
click here you click down you have you can see you have your length now now the next thing to do is to get what the width okay to get our width we click on line Uh, you are all better still you can just extend these lines you can just extend these lines here to get the width so how do you do that you select this line then you go and click on extend to you can see it here extend to you click on it then you come here click click you click or you select so you select you select now if you check the area it is still the same area it won't change because it's the same length and the same width okay then enter you can see it's still four six four five one five two okay so now what you do is you put the area you copy the area and fix them in each of the plots okay All right so this is it now so now you can see if you count we should be having about 16 plots okay so now you can't create or design any more plots here because these plots here they need to have access road so you can live here as your access road except when you have a road on this side if there's a road on existing on ground of course you know before you do your subdivision you must have gotten the perimeter of the said land from carrying out a survey on ground so if a situation whereby you have a road here then you can forget about creating a road here but in such a case whereby you don't you should have access road here okay you should have your access road here so let's see what's the the distance from here from here to here so we have about 12.6459 okay so let's say you don't have a road here you can take here as your road okay so this is it on how to subdivide a plot they subdivide a land into plots or parcels of land and this is for 50 feet by 100 feet okay i believe you learned a whole lot from this so guys thank you so much for coming around you i can also do your own tutorial request you how you can you can drop your own tutorial request down in the comment section okay whatever it's your concerns you can drop them in the comment section uh, there are there some operations or tasks you want to carry out but you're having some difficulties you can drop them in the comment section telling me to carry out tutorials on those difficult tasks for you okay so please remember to subscribe if you're just coming around my channel please do well and subscribe and please for those making video tutorial requests you know you have to subscribe and you have to click on notification button make sure you click on all when you click on the notification bell click on all so that as soon as I upload you'll be notified if you just click on any other option that is not on I might upload the tutorial you requested for and you will not be notified for that very one so please for your own sake and for our own sakes 
please do well and subscribe and click on notification bell with all options so see you next time drop your comments drop your questions your concerns or recommendations in the comment section see you next time in my next video i'll be treating how to subdivide a land a land into plots okay of course having 60 feet by 100 feet in mind see you next time bye